Okay, and so, and finally, uh, talk a little bit about experimentation. Um, we've we've done a we've done our previous laboratory work um, in the lab with the pendulum. We have some measured response data, so now we continue the experimentation now using a numerical model to experiment with with, with the equations. Um, and there's some different things you can do. You could try to see if your estimates of pendulum moment of inertia. Uh, allow you to make good predictions of the measure response. You want to make sure that you are predicting the uh, the natural period accurately, and uh, and so you have estimates of your moment of inertia. You confirm them in in the first week, but then now you can see if your model uh, gives you the same results. But also, we want to uh, uh, show show what kind of friction torque models are dominant. You know, is do we use a, a linear damping? Uh, nonlinear kind of coulombic type friction. You can also do other things like calculate stored energy and, and uh, try to improve your prediction of how the energy decreases each cycle. There's some interesting things you could do with that or, and show that you can actually use energy in fact to, to predict you know the, 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 the frictional models as well. That's some of the stuff that you can do with this uh, with this numerical model.